Hi everyone, welcome to Gizmo China. I'm Kieran. Today we bring the Xiaomi Mi Surface display to our channel. Let's see what's new in this Xiaomi display. Since Xiaomi started producing digital devices beyond smartphones, we've seen how it enhances their product variety and boosted their market share of different product types. One of their greatest advantages is pricing. This time the Mi Surface display is sold in China. As usual, Xiaomi will attach their design language to all kinds of products with relatively reliable manufacturing. Xiaomi Mi Surface display is one of them. The Mi Surface Display comes with a 2K 3440 x 1440 ultra clear resolution. It is 34 inches in diagonal length and has a cinematic 21 to 9 aspect ratio. It can display 16.7 million colors with a typical 3000 to 1 contrast ratio and up to 300 nit brightness. And Xiaomi claims that it covers 121% of the sRGB and 85% of the NTSC color gamut. Meanwhile, it features 144 Hz refresh rate and AMD's FreeSync synchronization technology and 1500R curvature design. According to unofficial sources, the LCD seems to use a VA panel from Samsung Display. The Mi Surface Display was released in October with a pre-order price at $286 US dollars, but right now it sells at around $357 US dollars, even though it's still one of the best budgets at such pricing. From these specs, it's no doubt that the Mi Surface is a competitive new entrant in its market. The Mi Surface was designed primarily for gamers and multimedia enthusiasts, which is why it has a 4ms G2G response time as well as a refresh rate of 144Hz strengthened by AMD's FreeSync technology. At first glance, the narrow bezels on three of its sides are very impressive. About the Mi Surface appearance, it features a minimalistic design, which is much smarter than most traditional gaming display manufacturers. It makes it look much lighter and more integrated. And the horizontal wide aspect ratio definitely gave me an incredible visual and gaming experience. Talking about its connectors, the Mi Surface Display has two HDMI inputs, two DP inputs, and an audio output, which could have a great compatibility for gamers or general users to connect multiple devices. Similar to many other displays, the buttons are placed on the back of the indicators, and we can see the Xiaomi logo on the back as well. The adjustable bracket of the display supports lifting, rotating, and tilting, and it can be replaced with a wall-mounted bracket. The input voltage is from 100 volts to 240 volts, which means that it supports almost all voltage standards on this planet. Another great feature is the bracket also supports cable management. You can open the cover and view the installation instructions. To learn how exactly the display performs, we did some quality tests. We started from color coverage. The results showed that it reached the value of 100% sRGB and 82% of Adobe RGB, though the NTSC gamut was not marked. It should be close to the color gamut of Adobe RGB. 100% sRGB coverage is good enough to cover the most widely used colors on the internet. As a gaming display, it's already better than most rivals. As for its brightness and contrast performance, under high brightness, the contrast stably remained at about 1550 to 1, which is quite a good result. And the brightness changes were also pretty stable and uniform without significant distinction when having brightness adjustment. And we tested its color uniformity. At 100% brightness, the colors across the screen performed pretty well with the Delta E under 2.4. At 50% brightness, the Delta E is at a range from 0 to 3.2. Combined with other results, the panel was able to maintain pretty good color uniformity. We should know that it was not positioned as a professional display for image processing. About its color accuracy, the average Delta E is 1.66 and the maximum is 2.83, which is very impressive as a gaming display. In addition to the quality of the screen, Xiaomi brought a practical OSD menu for the Mi Surface. Through software optimization, users can slightly improve the gaming experience. It provides a variety of setting options, not just for the common brightness, contrast, color gamma, and so on, but also including multiple image presets, multi-window modes, response speed settings, and low blue mode. The 144Hz refresh rate is a great option for first-person shooting games. The high refresh rate can provide a smoother experience, especially you can turn on the high response speed mode to get better competitive state when you're playing FPS games. Streaking is one of the disadvantages of VA panels. Mi Surface Display is no exception but users can open the high resource speed settings to reduce the streaking problem. As I used it for a while, I found that the multi-window modes is the most useful feature in the OSD menu. The 34 inch size plus a 21 to nine aspect ratio is suitable for multitasking and operation. Not just under Win 10 system, you can also use the option of split screen settings to display two signal sources. And can be set to left and right split mode and in picture mode. 
It's really hard to believe that the Mi Surface Display is the first monitor product of this brand. With a very competitive price and relatively high performance, there is no doubt that it will be one of the greatest gaming displays at this price level. That's it. Do you like this Xiaomi gaming display? Or what else do you want to know about it? Please leave your comment below. Thanks for watching. If you like our videos, don't forget to like us and also subscribe. This is Kieran from Gizmo China. We'll see you next time.